Now we have GitHub Copilot and VS Code completely for free. Having access to 2000 code completions, 50 chat messages per month, using powerful models such as Anthropic Cloud 3.5, OpenAI GPT 4.0 model. Also, there is a huge update in GitHub Copilot in VS Code, which competes with Cursor and Minsurf. I'm going to show you how you can run code, create code just with your natural language, and able to debug code and implement those changes. Let's get started. And here is GitHub Copilot. So here are the commands to directly open the Copilot. So I used Command Shift I to open and close it. Also, it has two different options. One is chat, another one, Copilot edits. Chat is generally for normal chatting and edit with Copilot automatically create files, edit those files, fix any errors without us making any changes. That is super cool. So this is like Windsurf or Cursor inside VS Code. So let's try that. So first we are going to try the Copilot with edit. So I'm going to give a task, create a note taking app with rich text editor. Make sure it saves notes separately and looks nice. I'm going to add frontend and backend in Flask with SQLite. Here I'm going to choose Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and click Send. Now it started working. Now first it's creating the app.py file. You can also see that in the editor. Now it's generating the code and now you can see the changes directly on the screen. That is really nice. Next is creating other files such as base index new note. On the right hand side you can see all those changes. I'm really impressed with this change. Now after this, you can even approve these files individually if required, as you can see here. I'm clicking done. Now here, all the code required. So I'm just saving. I need to press Ctrl S to save it for some reason. Now I'm opening my terminal here. Just pip install Flask to install the Flask application, then Python app.py and then click enter. Now the Flask application is running in this URL. I'm going to open that. And here is the note taking app. I can see an upgrade mentioned here, which I can fix it. So for now, I'm going to click close. So let's try creating a note. I'm going to say Mervin present notes, prepare for presentation, prepare for meeting and clicking save notes. And you can see it got saved here. So if I open, you can see the notes got saved here. Going back home. Now let's try fixing this issue. So let's see the latest version for this. So I can see the CK editor, the latest version is 4250. So just copying this message and I'm mentioning that here, upgrade to the latest version and adding the information. Also, you have option to add files, clicking on add files. And here you can see I can add app.py. After that, clicking send. Now it's modifying base.html because I mentioned the wrong file app.py. Instead, it's trying to make the main changes in the base.html. That is a required field. And then clicking accept to accept all those changes and coming and saving here. Now let's try that running this and going to open this URL again. So here's a note taking up, testing a note and clicking save. And now it's got saved. That is really nice. So the next option I want to show you is the chat. So here you got chat. I'm clicking on that. So the options available here, slash fix to fix the problem, slash test to add test, slash explain to explain. So I can just say slash and you got all these options. Explain the code and it's explaining me the code. So here in your terminal, you can just press command I and you can ask anything to do. For example, list all the files in this folder without time and date. Clicking enter. Now it's giving me the command, clicking run, and it's giving me this result. That is really nice. So totally we saw three different things. One is the copilot edit, then copilot chat, and finally copilot in your terminal. So how this differs from Windsurf or Cursor. I could see few changes such as I need to click Ctrl S to save. Maybe that will change in the near future. And adding terminal command execution in this is also available, which I tried previously. And this is really in the competition with Windsurf and Cursor AI. Also considering this is going to be free up to a limit, definitely this is a go-to for any developers who want to get started. And I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like this GitHub Copilot, which is completely free. I also created another video which clearly explains about Cursor AI, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch. And I will see you there.